a high speed MPU with a switch matrix problem. It thinks the credit button is being pressed all the time. Probably got some other issues too. Let's get to switch levels. So it thinks all of those switches are closed, even though I have removed the switch matrix input connectors. Let's see. And we are back with the high speed MPU and I have it booted up. And I have changed SR11, the 560 ohm SIP resistor. As I was measuring it, I could see that there was a crack and I'll, right in the middle. Let me flex it a little bit. You'll be able to see it right there. And that prevents the pull-up resistor from doing its job. So we should be good to go right now. Let's put it into test. And all of that was coming from the background soundboard that's actually out of my high speed. And I'm using Victor's universal display. So this display panel can display anything from a system nine all the way to the last system 11. Love the sounds of high speed. Here's all lamp test and then individual lamp test. And when I did this before, it would just race through without pressing any buttons at all. So it was thinking that the credit button was pressed. The next test is solenoid test. And this will go through the eight red LEDs. High speed again is not multiplexed. Now it's going through the eight mostly green LEDs. And then we'll do the special solenoids, which I can also test the switch inputs for. And that is working properly. And the next test is switch levels. Now this is where it was racing through a bunch of switches. And you can see that is gone now. The switch edges. test uh, high speed. The last switch used was switch 52, so let me do this a little differently. It's column one. And now let me get up to switch 52. There it is. So that is the last switch processed, and that shows that all of the switches in the switch matrix are being processed properly. I have installed NVRAM onto this board, so I'm going to set it to free play. I really need to remember this better. Is it 20? Well, I'll set it to free play another time here. There we go. We are in free play and I'll advance through the adjustments and we're back to boot it again. So the other things I did to the CPU is replaced all the capacitors on it. There's two 10 microfarads here. This is 125, a 470, 16. 
325s, those are in the power filter or power input circuits. And this 22 microfarad cap that's in the reset circuit. So we're back in business now. Uh, also replaced the header for the power in. And high speed CPU boards, the ground connection for the solenoids is separate from the board ground connection. So I always make a connection there too. This board is good to go. I thank you so much for sending it and your patience as I work through my queue.